You were talking about the salon being different, maybe sending out um, forms that your guests can fill out or whatever. And this this guy, Chris Harker, who says he's also a Paul Mitchell focus artist, um, says, when there is a vaccine, how much of these measures do you think we should be doing? So everything that you're talking about changing in the salon, would you continue that after this vaccine? Obviously, if, I mean, once there's a vaccine. It, it becomes the new standard. I know everybody's saying the, the yeah. new norm. I don't love that term. It's already overused. It was already overused before this epidemic. Right. Uh, but, but just to be honest, that's really how I feel about it. I think that it's a new standard, just like in the whatever 40s or 50s, it would be a state board or whatever. Somebody set, set standards. And I'll be honest, again, with the whole world of hairdressing, uh, our salon's number one thing a client looks for. Is it clean? And we all go, yeah, it is. Haven't we noticed how dirty our houses are? Uh, I mean, let's be honest, people, right. they want these right. measures of security. And I'm not saying we got to look like the doctor's office, but they're going to want to feel it. So if it used to be you bought 2,000 square feet, I'm going to put 17 stations in it. We would want to rethink that just to be a little more open space. So it's changing the business plan and model. And that's a thing to think about. But uh, after the vaccine, I just think these best practices will hold. Um, I would expect, just because I've been paying a lot of attention to this, There'll be future episodes of similar things. I think this is a, a, a thing that can reoccur. And I think being prepared for it is the thing. And if it's already set, then the effects will be even less. And maybe businesses wouldn't have to close down. So it's kind of like a protection. Like every house in Israel has an air raid shelter in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. You didn't know you'd get that from me today, did you, Matt? <laughs> it's kind of no, I didn't see that. Most, most, <laughs> most surprising things I've ever heard in one of my interviews. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. 